Want the scoop on the best items at Misguided right now? Yes, boo, you're in the right place. Keep on watching. <laughs> title said today's video is going to be a misguided haul I'm gonna be sharing with you the best items at misguided right now but not only will I be doing that I'll also be styling and trying and reviewing these pieces for you so do me a favor right now and give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi. And on this channel, we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that's what you're into, then girl, I got you. It's going to be this top. Y'all know I'm always filming these videos. Um, so I have, I looked at my wardrobe and I realized I didn't have enough dressy and cute tops. So I needed cute tops. I love jeans. That's my like modus operandi, if that's even a word. It's a modus operandi? I don't even know. And so I love having cute tops. It features, you know, button closures around the cuff. Also features this wrap detail on the inside. So you secure it first on the inside and then you have another belt that secures it on the outside. I got this in a size 16 and this one actually fits as I expected it to. And it's like a lightweight woven fabric, which is perfect for like late summer afternoons and early evening. So I just love the two-tone print situation here. Something like this, it's a wrap top and I find that wrap tops can be a little dating at times. So personally, I like to, and by dating, I mean like they can make you look a little bit older and girl, forever young, okay? Forever young around these parts. I like to do with tops like this is that I actually like to wear them as crisscross tops and tuck them into high-waisted things. And that's how I plan to wear this top. Misguided has a nice selection of cute tops and cute dresses. Like those are two things that they always have good options. I just wanted to mention in the interest of full disclosure that all of these items were kindly gifted to me by Misguided. Not a sponsorship, so I'm not being paid to talk about these things. So this next item I picked up from Misguided, I've been really loving the whole milkmaid sweetheart sort of like neckline. And so I gravitate towards these dresses. Also, they're super cute. If you want to look cute for a Zoom day, okay. <laughs> oh, you know, one of those few moments when you have to leave your house for brunch with friends. What I like about this dress is that it has a black base, which means that it can go from right from summer into fall. And right now, even though we're in the in the thick of the heat, um, I'm definitely thinking into early fall. And this is one of those pieces. It features a brushing detail around the bust area. It has like built-in cutouts for your cups. It also features this ruching detail up here around the shoulders. This will help keep the top up on your shoulders. It is way too big for me, especially around the bust area. So honestly, I may actually throw this into the giveaway that I've been ho I'm currently hosting, um, a series of giveaways on Instagram. Um, but yeah, I may throw this in there because I feel like it shows to someone who can make use of it. All right, so the next item I picked up was this dress. This is another dress that I have been eyeing and been sharing on stories nonstop. It, it gives me like 90s vibe. It's very cute. I feel like I wore things like this when I was in middle school. Um, and this sage slash green color has definitely been on trend, I would say, for the last two spring seasons. But I was, I was kind of like stayed away from it just because I wasn't sure, you know, like what if it would work on my complexion. And if you are trying to have fun with this color, I would say you could pair a sage kind of like muted green like this with um, a neon green if you really wanna have fun and be bright. I got this in a size 18 because it is a woven fabric. It does have a teensy bit of stretch in it, um, but by the way, it fits my hips and stomach. I feel like I nailed the size, however, I always have this problem with dresses and the 
top part, um, especially around my bust, it is on the bigger size. I would say though that if you are in between sizes, definitely size up in this just because of how it fit me. Um, I love all the little details. It has these pearl buttons in the same sage colors. Um, it also has the same pearl buttons on the cuff on the arms, it's visible zipper closure in the back. The quality of this for the price is actually really good. Like it looks so much more expensive. Like I'm impressed. I would say that dress gives you the best value for your money. I want to share with you guys, it's going to be this kind of like shared um, polka dot swimsuit top. I got this in a size 16. It features some shearing detail around the bust. It gets very reminiscent of like a milkmaid style top. I actually bought this to wear as a top, not really as a bathing suit, but it is a bathing suit. It is lined with this um, mesh fabric that I see a lot of swimsuits being lined with, but it has absolutely no support at all, which is why I intended to wear this as a top with a bra. <laughs> I probably should have sized up to make my bust. I, For reference, I wear a 38 triple D, at least that's what I thought I wore, but I'm being told that I'm more of like an FG cup right now. I'm gonna be doing, a, I'm gonna be sharing some content on how to find the best bras and much more on Instagram. So if you're not following me there, you should because I actually got fitted by a fit specialist and she taught me so much that I want to share with you guys. So link to my Instagram is going to be in the description box for you down below. But yes, I got this in size 16. Band wise, strap wise, it all fits fine. But I find that I'm personally like spilling out of the cup. If you have a larger cup size, it's best to size up. Now, my height, my weight, my measurements, all of that good stuff is for you, is available to you in the description box of this video for your reference. The next item I want to share with you guys is going to be this t-shirt. I really, I love graphic tees all year round and what really brought, uh, caught my eye with this one was the fact that it had um, this orange situation going. So it's like a black and white. There's some blue in it. I got this one in a size 16 as well and it's a teensy bit fitted. Okay, so, and it's making me kind of reevaluate my sizing, typically misguided sizing is very similar to ASOS. If I got a t-shirt from ASOS Curve at a size 16, it would fit comfortably. And I actually lost weight during quarantine, even though I'm starting to eat good again. <laughs> I would say if you're in between sizes, size up for the t-shirt. So this next item I had high hopes for, but I was also kind of apprehensive just looking at the length on the model, like I'm pretty sure if that girl turned around, you could see her cheeks, okay? So, and I'm on the taller side at 5'7". If you're 5'7 and shorter, you probably won't have this issue, but this is on the shorter side. It's on the shorter side, okay? That's my fake New York accent coming out. Um, I love the little detail around the bust, the crinkly fabric. It also has a cut like a sewn in bust compartment in it. It has elastication on the sleeves. It also has ruffling and elastication around the shoulders as well. It is a invisible zipper closure. And again, I love these like 90s style fit and flare dresses. They're really great for pier shapes. They're great for um, straight, like if you're straight up and down. The busty side, I wear like a 38 triple D, like I said, and I don't fill this in. So if you're on the busty side, you, you have some room in this dress, okay? It's a lot of boob and a lot of leg for me. So I'm not really sure. I was thinking of just making it into a top or something and styling it like that. Let me know in the comments below, should I keep this? Is it too short? Let me know, like, or should I return this? I don't even know if I can. <laughs> I play myself. Let me know in the comments down below. All right, glasses off, y'all. I have to put it on to see these days <laughs> to make sure. 
And just like everybody on their mama, you know, I felt like I needed some tie dye in my life. I was influenced. So I picked up this tie dye shirt. Now I was looking for something that was more of like a black gray tie dye. This is almost like a gray purple tie dye. We're gonna make it work, okay? <laughs> Let me know in the comments below for tie dye or against tie dye. Now, if you are following me on Instagram, you will remember this dress. I linked this dress so many times for you guys on Instagram. On Instagram, I share my pics, my finds. Um, I also share it on the LTK app. If you're not familiar, I will put a link so you can follow me there. I, anytime I find a good deal, like I found the cutest H&M dress for under $20. Under, yep, you heard me. And with a code, it was like 17 bucks. So good. I wish it came in other colors. And I shared on Instagram stories and the crowd went wild. No, I'm joking. But I shared this dress for you guys on Instagram. I absolutely love the ruching going down. That's been my jam. Like any dresses now with ruching. I used to love wearing body cons when I was like 20, 30 pounds lighter. But as I've, as I've gotten more full, I started staying away from body cons. One, because I think it's really overdone in the curvy community, but also because I don't like to wear Spanx. I'll wear it if I have to, but I don't like it, which is why I love dresses like this with ruching. I featured a very similar dress to this in my summer date night video. If you haven't checked that out, I'll be sure to link it for you guys. Um, but I saw this dress. I was like, yes, add to cart. I just love the soft pastel yellow. I love the lavender in it. I love the creams. And I just know it's going to be a dress that I will be able to wear next year as well. So I figured worst case scenario, I can pull it out next spring. God willing, if the earth still exists. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling these days. <laughs> that's how I'm feeling these days. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think about this dress? Like, is this, is it, is this just in my head that this is cute or not? Like, so I always get questions, especially on Instagram, about where I got that pink robe from and where I got certain um, pajamas that I love wearing from and where I got those sequin white pants from the holidays. All of them are from Misguided. Misguided is one of those like underrated places that a lot of people don't think about shopping but don't sleep on them because you can find some really unique pieces that are made well. <laughs> don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. No, 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 no. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>